So in the last video, we spent quite a bit of time working on deriving this z of t, okay? So this z of t is y1 that goes in as an addition, y2 that goes in as a subtraction to a, a circuit device, and we subtract y2 from y1 to give us z. And so this z has taken our message and a cosine at our carrier frequency, put them together, passed them through a nonlinear device. We modeled the nonlinear device using a power series, a two term power series approximation, and we arrived at this Z term. Now, when we got to this Z term, we started to notice uh, that, that we were uh, going to be pretty optimistic about our Z because it had one term that was the message by itself and another term that was the co uh, cosine with that carrier wave uh, being multiplied uh, by our message. So this, we have these two terms, message with some constant coefficients, and then a modulated message with some other constant coefficients. So this is really good, and let's let's take a look at why. So in green, right, this is the message, and in the frequency, this part of the message we know is going to be at our baseband, so from minus V to B. But our second part, right, this is actually a modulated message. And this was what we want, right, that we're trying to talk about modulators. How do you build a modulator as a circuit device? So this part is the modulated message, right? We have shifted this out into, to plus or minus FC. This is the carrier frequency. So we've taken our message and we've shifted it out to that carrier frequency. And the only uh, so-called harm that we can say we've done is that we've changed the this part, this leading coefficient a little bit. We've changed it to uh, 4, 4B four over 2, where B is some, some constant from our power series approximation. And so, yeah, this, this is really good um, because now we have some of our signal. Some of our signal is exactly what we want. Some of our signal is a modulated message. So our original signal is in the middle. Our desired modulated signal is out at the edge. So let's see, how could we think about recovering this? How could we eliminate this original signal, right? We want this to go away so that all we're left with is our desired modulated signal. Well, <clears throat> I think the answer, right, is a bandpass filter. So we've discussed filtering in this class already. So the answer on how you get rid of this original signal is put it through a bandpass filter. So if we made some transfer function HF, that's a bandpass filter, we'll center it at our carrier frequency, pass it through there. So we pass our ZF right through this uh, transfer function that's a bandpass filter, and that will give us a uh, modulated message, right? All that's going to be left is our message that's been modulated. Our uh, original message has been moved out to the carrier frequency plus and minus FC.